Ah, the girl don't like being out of the water. Same as Kelly. That's gonna be her new home for the next three days. Hopefully only three days. There she is, guys. She's on the ground. And we found it got a weight on her, 11,000 pounds, fully loaded. Got her blocked up, good to go. Hey everybody, we're in uh, the boat yard in Charlotte Harbor. We're doing a bottom job, but we also have another project with uh, leaking Gemini's. This is our Lazarette starboard locker and our rudder bracket. Our rudder bracket has a mounting below water line and we always get water in here. I don't know can see this. This is where the screws are located. There's four of them there. And you can see the water that's always in this locker. It's always in there no matter what I do. I take it, I get it all out and it comes back in. Some of it has definitely come from the hatch and we put a, a drain. I mean, uh, we put a seal on the hatch. But there's a piece of plywood right here built into the uh, the hole of the boat. And this is where that bracket's mounted to. I'm kind of worried that that piece of wood inside has deteriorated. So we're going to replace, uh, so we're gonna get in here, we're gonna tear this thing apart take off a water bracket and address these screws with this bottom bracket and uh, first thing I've done is I've uh, un unbolted the um, steering cable from it and I got to get the bracket off I'm gonna start one out there's a second bolt out and the bracket just comes off here's the rudder mounting bracket and we have to get this off there's you know bolts coming in from the outside but there's nuts and washers on the inside so it's gonna take two people to get this done and I'm about to get Miss Kelly to help me Let's get this bracket off Well, it looks like we have some electrolysis going on right there. Uh, I can tell the weld is broke. But we don't have time to have this made. So we're going to take this bracket up here off. Mount it underwater on the, uh, the one that's under the water line. And we're going to put this one up on the top temporarily. And when we get back to, uh, back to our hometown, I got a buddy that can make these. Now that's what you want to see right there. We are going for a stroll, checking out the boat yard here at Charlotte Harbor Boat Yard. Oh, look, there's otter too. window shopping. Just looking.
No, we're taking a break from the work. You know, work all day and then uh, wind down a little bit. Today was a busy day. We got, we're glad our friend Thomas helped us today. Yeah, that was a godsend. Are we having fun yet? Oh yeah, it's uh, everybody. At least. We can pay people to do this for us. I know, but we like doing our own, don't we? What are you doing? Cleaning off any? I'm trying to get the scum off the paint so I can put new paint on it after I sand it. Oh, alright. Good job. Oh, we got our friend Thomas from bon Bo Bon's Voyage helping. And Ken is putting the tape on the boot stripe. We'll be painting that up today. Paint the boot stripe, aren't you? Can you loosen up the chain over here around my ankle? <laughs> it's three in the yard. What you doing, Captain? I am fiberglassing up a void inside of uh, this rudder bracket. We had uh, a little bit of soft wood, and this is a patch. While we have it on the hard. And our friend Thomas from Bond. I'm supervising. Yeah, that's what he's good at. That. <laughs> and so we got the bootstripe. We got the bootstripe done, right? Two two coats. Cheers, guys. She's finished. Summer, no sand bit, mosquito bit, but we're so excited because she's in the sling. We are dropping in the water tomorrow. There we go, guys. She is painted up and going into water. Here, take a walk out. 